Isaac Dogbo versus Ray Vargas in a unification match. Ray Vargas, man. He got a fight coming up this weekend, right? I, I mean, I could be wrong. Let's see. But, I, I mean, I've seen Ray Vargas fight on HBO one time. Uh, his last fight, was he was a tall guy, lanky guy, and um, he's got a good jab. He, he's a good fighter, but he likes to bang, too. Um, he, I think he's pretty tall for that weight class. Maybe his opponent was short, but dog both short and strong. Mean, he rips shots to the body. Um, Vargas is definitely probably going to have to – Vargas likes to bang, but he's going to have to keep that fight on the outside, man. So, to me, yeah, he's got to fight May 12th. Sorry, he's fighting on the uh, um, Saddam Ali's undercard. Ray Vargas is. So, we're going to get to see him in there again defending his WBC Super Bantamweight Championship. So, a unification fight with Dogbo. I don't know if they'll jump right into a unification. They'll probably have Dogbo fight a few times. But down the line, that that that, that could be one of the better fights for the little guys. One of the – that might end up turning out to be a classic. I mean – just the Magdaleno fight was awesome. But uh, I think I texted you in, like, round seven. I said, man, Magdaleno better start half-step back, fighting off his back foot and be careful and just try to make it to the belt, see if he can get a decision and keep his belt. Because you could just tell at a certain point of that fight, Dogbo was a just a vicious, stronger fighter. And, and he pressed that will against Magdaleno. Um... But him and Ray Vargas, I love that fight. What's your take? For me, man, Isaac Dobo is my new one of my new favorite fighters, man. I've been looking for somebody who I could be fan of for the future. And Isaac Dobo is a fighter that I I want to see succeed in this division, man. The thing I also like about Dogbo, man, is that he also he said he wants all unifications. That's impressive, bro. Like this five two guy who wants to fight unifications like Ray Vargas, Dan, um, Daniel Roman, um, who else? Um, there is this Japanese guy who's the IBF champion. I don't, I can't pronounce his name. But guys like that, man, I would love to see Dogbo in this Ray Vargas fight. It has to happen soon. Is Bob is Bob later. Aram is Bob Aram gonna pick him up on like what's his deal with um now that he beat Magdalena? He signed with Bob. He signed uh, with Dogbo. So um the thing about the Ray Vargas thing is I don't know how long Ray Vargas is gonna make that weight. Because he's the tallest dude in Super Bantamweight. He is the tallest dude. Like, how long are you going to see how this tall, tall guy? I don't They say 5'7". Somebody, somebody count. Look, yeah, it says 5'. He looked 5'11 in his last fight. He don't look like 5'7", man. Like, <laughs> there's no way. So, yeah. but Dogbo is 5'2", bro. Like, Either way, that's like a Yo, big. Like, there's going to be a hype discrimination like no other, man. That shit would be crazy. Dogbo's going to have to rip to the body like he did and in the Magdalena. Is, he ain't got no problem doing that. The thing yeah. about it is Dogbo is going to viciously hit Ray Vargas in the body. The thing is, can yeah. Ray Vargas keep this fight? Um, at the distance, and I can hardly see that because they were trying to set up a big unification with Jesse Magdalena and Ray Vargas. That was yeah. supposed to be the super big fight at 122, but Dogbo stole that from um, the 122 it's division. Be hard to it's going to be hard to keep Dogbo off you. Yeah, so, but yo, if I had to pick a winner in this fight, i this is not a real prediction. This is not accurate. But I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to go with my fan, my fanonism. And I'm going to say, Dogbo, Dogbo, 
like Dog from Dog Bowl from Wakanda. No, he's a Guyana. Guyana. Nah, I'm just I, I, he's a warrior. That's what you know what I'm saying. He that African. They warrior. call him the brave son. 